Why would you leave her? You just spent so much for a meal and yet you hardly touched her. What was the meaning of that? What was the meaning of what? Look, stop the pretense. It's bloody more infuriating than what you did over there. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I am blind. So I didn't see you flirting with that man over there. Flirting? Okay, listen. You were not looking at me. Your mind was more engrossed in something I don't even know about. So the next thing you do, grab the next one by me, huh? I flirted a little bit. So what? I mean, why are you blowing your trumpets? You sound like I slept with a man. You know what? You're so self-centered, so myopic with it, you don't see anything. Ha, ah, bloody. What are you? Oh, no, 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 hold on. Look, don't tell me you're still here waiting for me to come back home. So where are you coming from at this god for second hour of the night? Could you stop it? Listen, I am not your teenage sister. 
I'm your fiance for Christ's sake. The worst you can do is tell me how much you missed. Aren't you ashamed of you? are practically reeking of alcohol. So what? I went out with some friends. I had some few drinks. I don't see how that gives you any right to think you can dictate my life for me. What is wrong with that anyway? Why am I not surprised? Knowing you, nothing. You are doing everything you can to just bring your name and your family name to disrepute. Don't cry not loud, my dear. Show us some respect. We are engaged soon to be married. You engaged to me, yes. Am I going to be your slave? No. I don't see how that gives you any right to become my lord and master, to dictate things for me. Because even my parents never had that opportunity. You will never have that opportunity. Well, anyways, I'm going in there to take a cold shower. And I'll need someone to scrub my back. You better come with me. Who's there? Mrs. Stark. Mrs. Stark, what happened to your left finger? You cut yourself. Casey. Yes, sister. Where have you been that you left me all alone in the house? I went to the market to look for a job to do, sister. Sister, where is Uncle CK? He left to Accra to do something urgently, and he hasn't returned ever since. Okay, see, life has been very cruel ever since Mama died. Sister, do not worry. Everything will be all right, okay? I, I bought you some bread and milk. I want to tell you something. What? Uh, I saw my mom, and she said I should come back home for a school, sister. Is that so? Yes, sister. Sister, I'm really sorry for your wound, okay? Let me get in there and press something for you.
When the cold hands of death snatched Mama away from me, and later you left town, I truly came to terms with destiny that I was really blind. It's okay. I'm back for you now. I promise never to leave you alone again. But there is one thing I want you to do for me. What is that? Tell me whatever you want me to do and I'll do it. I want you to come and live with me so that I can take good care of you. I don't want anything to happen to you. Anything. I believe with these hands I can protect and care for you. But only those who are married stay together. Come on, let's make this an exception. Okay, let's make it an exception. In my heart, I know you find the love and care that you need. Will you come and live with me? Say yes. That's a yes. You know, I'm only accepting this because because he has left. So you'd have to go with me so that I pack my things and then move in with you. Never mind, never mind. I'll get you new stuff, you know? I'll get you new stuff, okay? All right. <laughs> A road full of pain Sunshine has come into my life Enter the ambience of a new environment for the first time in my life. I can't see it, but I can feel its warmth. I can assure you, you will see again. I can promise you that. I hope so, because it is my wish that I can see again. so that I can see the beauty of God's creation and I can see you. You will see again, Kayla. Have a seat. Sorry. And there you go. Oops. Can I get you something to drink? your new home now, you know? From the results of the test and observations made, uh, she will be able to see. In fact, no one would have thought of a possible solution to this problem a year or so ago, but with the arrival of our new laser machine, the root cause of the problem can easily be solved. In fact, I would rather say both of you are very lucky, very, very lucky. Let's see. Absence of any complications, I think uh, she will ably regain her sight. Yeah. That's good news. Mm. Um, 